Welcome to the first of two videos that I'm going to do um, discussing the use of the glass beads in my projects. Uh, I did a altered a birdhouse ornament and an altered frame ornament, both using the beads. Um, there's a couple of things I wanted to go over in the videos. In this first video, we're going to take a look at the altered birdhouse, which has the beads on the roof of the birdhouse. Uh, and I'm going to talk about the glues that I used and how I applied it to the birdhouse. This is not a step-by-step -step video of how exactly to create the birdhouse. That you can see in the PDF tutorial and uh, honestly I think it's a bit boring to watch me just, you know, glue paper down. So uh, I wanted to talk about the more important things like how do you get these little beads to actually stick and how do you use this little stuff called snow text which uh, was a bit more challenging than I thought so let's uh, get started obviously this is just a wooden birdhouse that I probably bought at Michael's uh, that I went ahead and covered I do kind of show a, a good tip for doing the front of it uh, where you have the holes um, in the PDF tutorial on how I did that if you have a copier at home, and many printers either have a scanner or a copier with them today, it's really pretty simple to do. Also, want to remind everyone if you're using it as an ornament, you're going to want to cover the bottom too, just in case it's high enough up on the uh, tree that people can see the bottom. And so, let's talk about these glass beads. The first thing I did to prepare for using these or test these is I uh, tried out some different types of glues. In fact, I'll show you here real quickly. This is my test project with uh, different ink colors and uh, different glues. Uh, this one, obviously, unfortunately, is probably going to end up going in the garbage. But I did learn a lot from the different glues I tried. Now, this is what I tried for this particular ornament. I tried this. This is an Elmer's glue called Craft Bond. I like this applicator. It's got a small tip and then kind of a wider one. It's not a brush per se, but it does give you the option to kind of spread it around. I used Glossy Accents by Rangers. I also tried this Tombow liquid glue, and you do need a liquid glue here that works much better. Uh, this one is a white glue. I also tried a spray glue, uh, one of those spray can glues by Elmer. I think it was by Elmer's. Uh, I wish I still had it so I could show you. It performed so poorly that I really actually just threw it away. So um, stay away from the spray cans. They did not work at all. This one did not really work either. What happens is it spread around too much and then it gets into the, cr the little openings where you don't want the um, beads to go. You just want them on the top, not in the little teeny openings here. And it didn't dry very clear either. Now because uh, I didn't have much luck with this one, I did not try something like a lean, thick and tacky because I just didn't feel like I could keep it from going into the little openings. Now if you ha don't have such an intricate frame, you can maybe try it but I would test it out on something else first to see actually how clear it dries. Now, the winner was actually this one uh, for a couple of reasons. One, it's got a really small tip on this end, so that made it easy for me to fill, make sure the glue only went where I wanted it to go. Plus, it dried the clearest. The second one was this one actually worked pretty well too, but it, was, it did not dry as clear as this one. So this is what I used and I recommend this one. Now just a little note, uh, just some basic information about using the beads. Um, if you have any hope of these not going anywhere, you can just go ahead and give up that now. They're going to go everywhere. So one of the things I did find that worked well to control them is to put a paper towel down over my work surface. I found, I started out trying to use my uh, embossing tray, which is metal, and the little things just bounced right out of there. So yeah, they cover my entire desk now. 
uh, and they probably will for months. <laughs> so uh, I then I tried putting a paper towel down underneath on top of my work surface, and that kept them from bouncing. Uh, so that worked a lot better. I'm going to show you in a little bit in a, on a different project how to you know do the glue and put the beads on. Now, one tip I will give you is to go slowly and easily with the beads. It's very easy in the opening to pour out a whole bunch and that's not real effective. You, It's hard then to kind of push them around very easily and then any extras that end up falling off probably have glue on them so you can't really reuse them. Well you could but you might end up with a lot of glops. Um, so go slowly. That's what I highly recommend. Go slowly. And you want to make sure that you put enough glue on here, a thick enough layer, that you'll get good good coverage in the on the beads. And just like me, you can always find buy something that you can test on. These little ornaments you can get pretty cheap uh, right now, so you could really test and play with it and decide how to make it look best for you. So those are my glass bead tips. At, they take after you cover the birdhouse it's going to take about oh, 12 to 24 hours to completely dry. At that point you can come back over it and just kind of gently rub your hand and get rid of any ones that are loose on here. Now I also think at some point I might try sealing the beads a little bit more using something like Mod Podge uh, but because I noticed that I think they come off too easily that was the other knock against this white glue is that they didn't stick very well so this one worked the best to keep them adhered but over time like most handmade ornaments if it's not protected well they will probably continue to fall off so you may want to seal them but again I haven't worked through that process yet I don't know if I'll do that or not but you would want to test it out to make sure that it dries pretty clear before you ruin your work now this little ornament doesn't have a string to it yet. I'm just going to screw in a little hook on the top so I can add it to the tree. And you know, I might decide not to do that. I might use it someplace else in the house to display it. You'll see I used this fake snow. I want to talk about that a little bit too. On the edges down here. Now if you've never used this before, it'll say right on the bottle that you can apply it with a brush, a sponge, a palette knife, or other tool. I tried them all and I will tell you the best way to apply this that I found is simply using your finger. It's really pretty thick and very kind of textury and so even with the palette knife I had a hard time manipulating it so uh, I found my finger worked best. So all you do is you get a little and it's very grainy it's almost like it's got sand in it. So I'm just going to add a little bit to the back and really it's kind of like um, frosting a cake. I mean you're just kind of scraping your finger off a little bit at a time to kind of get it to stick. It doesn't stick all that well when you're first doing it. <laughs> but then when it dries, it dries really rock hard. So it's going to stay in place. You could also put some just a little bit on the corners there. If you're not from snow country, um, you know snow doesn't stick everywhere and it usually doesn't stick to the roofs very well because there's usually heat there on a house so the edges is where you would find snow now technically you probably wouldn't find it here either because it's directly underneath but I thought it was cute so I went ahead and left it and we'll just add a little bit more the container says it takes two to three hours, at least two to three hours for it to completely dry. So you want to probably keep it out of harm's way until it's had time to completely dry. It's actually pretty easy with your finger. I would say it was very frustrating trying to use something else. But there's my little uh, birdhouse ornament. It's completely done. Um, and see, I'm already taking it back off because it needs to dry. Like I said, it doesn't stick very well until it is good and dried. So you'll want to make sure to 
set it aside and give it some good drying time. If you have questions about anything I did here, any of the products I used, um, the little bird comes from the floral area. You can buy them there. Uh, and so if you have any other questions, like I said, just uh, please post them in the message board.